me, myself, and I. It's me, myself, and I. Me, myself, and I. It's me, myself, and I. I can't see what's over there. Keep looking. What is that? It's Jean-Claude Van Damme's silk underwear. If you listened to the last episode, you'll remember. That doesn't sound like Jean-Claude Van Damme. Mr. Silk Underwear, is that better? Jean-Claude! Yes. Why are you rubbing your silk underwear in the snow? I'm trying to find the episode. Come on. We must find the episode. Do you see the episode? It's right in front of us. You don't sound like Jean-Claude. Come on. Silk underwear. Silk underwear. Do you remember? Kind of sound like you're doing an impression of Liam Neeson and Jean-Claude Van Damme. If I'm going to do Liam Neeson, I'll do this. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. Oh, okay. Let's go. Keep going. Okay. We're going to go. There you go. Too many impressions. You're right. Let's go. There it is. It's up over there. The episode? Yes, go ahead. Grab it. Come on. Grab the episode. I don't know who you are. Stop it. There's only one impression here. I'm sorry, Jean-Claude. Back up. Rub my silk underwear. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Come on. Okay. I'm going to go get the episode. Here it is. Right here in front of me. What does it say? Yes. Tell us. What does it say? Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Come on, you're just taking your time. You need to get into the episode. Jean-Claude, go over there. Okay, I will. Liam? Yes. How you feeling today? <sighs> I'm a little sad and a little angry about myself because... Stop, we'll save it for later. Can I read the episode? I don't know who you are. I'm Mike Betancourt. I don't know what you want. I need you to go with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Please. Don't make me rub his silk underwear. You won't, sir. Just go over there. Hey, Jean-Claude. I don't want to rub your silk underwear. You won't! Just go! Come on! All right. I'm about to open this up. I'm taking my time starting this episode. (laughs) Okay, here we go. That's the dust of the snow. (gasps) 
Welcome to me, myself, and I, and I am your host, Mike Bencourt, episode 50, 50, come on, Mike, 64, that's right, episode 64, 64, boom, boom, I already have a theme song. What am I doing? I'm wasting time. That's what I'm doing. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to the episode. I hope you enjoyed the little improv with me and Jean-Claude and Liam Neeson. Um, yeah, we had a great time. We were improvising and we started to go through the snow. Whatever. Whatever. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome. Is everyone enjoying uh, the day after Valentine's Day? Huh? Is everyone enjoying that? Because I know, I, oh my God, I just dropped something and I picked up the timer again. Oh my God. It's okay. I'm enjoying it. I uh, love the day after Valentine's Day because I don't like Valentine's Day. I don't. My wife doesn't like Valentine's Day and that's why I love her. When we started going out and she's like, I don't like Valentine's Day. I was like, oh, you don't either? Yay. I love her every day. I don't need a day to tell me that I love someone. Okay. What about my Mother's Day? That's a day to pay homage to your mother. Okay. You can't compare Mother's Day to Valentine's Day. That's just stupid. Okay. That's just dumb. Okay, a mother does deserve one day to herself and one day to treat her like royalty. Well, she's a mom 24 7. How come you can do that? Huh? How come you can compare? How come you can, how come, how come, how come you can't, you know, you you say your mom's a, a mom all the other days, but you, you're going to do the same thing like Valentine's Day. No, 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 no. Because that's your mother. Okay? There's a big difference. If you don't, if you forget your mom's birthday, it's okay. If you don't see her on Christmas, that's fine. If you, um, I don't know, whatever, if you don't spend time with her, that's okay. But if you don't wish your mother happy Mother's Day on Mother's Day, you might as well just say you go straight to hell. Okay? That is the most cardinal sin. You have to wish your mother happy Mother's Day on Mother's Day. You don't have to say on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is the same thing, okay? Every single guy, uh, everyone's at the restaurant, okay? Uh, why? No. Okay, people, please, okay, if you love Valentine's Day, please, 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 please. Please, please be creative, okay? If you're going to celebrate Valentine's Day, please be creative. Creative. Do something unique every single year or don't celebrate at all, okay? Please be unique because if you're not unique, you're, the, you're doing the exact same thing everyone's doing. Hey, honey. Every single guy, every single guy is going to the flower store. Every single guy is going to the grocery store. Every single guy is waiting, and they're all like, I've got to get up my wife. They're all saying at the exact same time, too. I've got to get up my wife. Significant other baby. I'm in chocolate. That's every single robotic guy. And then every woman at home or waiting somewhere. I don't want to get out of the baby. I don't want to get out of the baby. I don't want to hope she likes this. I don't want to hear the baby. I want to love her. I don't want to get out of the baby. And we're all, and then they all go to the restaurant. Do you want to get out of something to the baby? Get out of the baby. Let's go to a fancy restaurant. Get out of Alright, let's do that. 
And they both go to the exact same restaurant, and that restaurant is packed because everyone thought of the exact same idea, and they're both laughing and joking. And if you look around, every guy is holding the woman's hand. You have to stop. Yes, no, I must say that your hands were soft, and I just want to say that you look very beautiful tonight, sweetheart. Thank you very much. You're such an answer. I'm very thankful. 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 And then a few random guys, right? What are a few random guys are going to do during this situation? There's going to be half of those guys get out of their seats and they're all going to get on one knee and do the exact same thing at the exact same time. <laughs> Melissa, Jessica, Mary, and so on, and so on, and so on. I just wanted to let you know. And then all the women. Oh my god, are you proposing to me? Is she proposing to you? Is she proposing to you too? Oh my god, this is amazing. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Honey, I just want to say. I don't know who you are. Stop! Get out of here. That's Valentine's Day. <laughs> I don't do it. I don't. I'll say I love you. I give foot massages. I give back massages to my wife take care of her every single day and she takes care of me every single day and I just want to let you know that if you haven't figured out that Valent there's a car driving by okay cool it's probably Cupid shoot the arrow what if hmm what if Cupid was an assassin okay and then it, with along the lines, he became this wonderful, cute little angel. I take their hearts. <laughs> ah! Liam Neeson stars in Cupid. You know, if you want to brainwash someone on the exact same day and control them, Super Bowl and Valentine's Day, same thing. It is. It's the same thing. Same exact same thing. That's why we don't celebrate it. We know we do. We celebrate. This is what we celebrate on Valentine's Day. We wish our pit bull rescue a happy birthday. It's Indy's birthday. Yesterday was Indy's birthday. I'd rather celebrate my dog's birthday, wish him a happy birthday, and sing to him and give him hugs and kisses. He's such a good dog. Oh, he's a pit bull. I, you know what? I didn't like him at first because, you know what? Well, number one, my wife already, I remember I was doing an audition. In San Francisco and it was a terrible audition and I was stuck in traffic and I was miserable and then she called me she's like hey by the way I just want to you know that we got a rescue dog uh we signed the papers what yeah we got a dog he's a pit bull mix I, I haven't even met the dog and she got him but when I met him I looked at him in his big dopey eyes and I said you got 28 days buddy 28 days because it's going down I'm taking you back. And I couldn't. I couldn't take Indy back. He was so cute. It's been three years later and he's so cute and lovable with his jowls and he's a and he scares the crap out of people with his bark when you come to the door and that's why I love him. He's very intimidating, but he's lovely because he loves us so much. He does, and I love him so much, too. He's a dumbass. He is dumb. In a way, in a nice way. <laughs> because he is. He is. He uh, He's partially blind. He's got bad hips. Um, he almost drowned in a pool the other day. In our backyard, we have a pool. And I, I wasn't paying attention, and he fell into the deep end. And normally dogs can paddle their way out there, but when you're half blind and, you know, he's a disabled dog, okay? 
And when he's disabled, you can't. You, the first thing he, he's going to do is panic. If you ever want to rob my house, just throw my dog in the pool because he does not know what to do. He's, <laughs> I mean, good luck throwing him in there. He'll rip your face off, which we love. If we come home, we see the dog just eating the robber's face. <laughs> oh, did you rip his face off? That's a good little boy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You a little boy. You are. But I, I saw him. Oops, sorry. Drop some notes. I saw him. All I saw was his snout and his and his paws, and he was on his way down. And I yelled at him. I was like, Andy, Andy. He couldn't turn around. Nothing. He was on his way down. I had to jump in seven o'clock in the morning, like. <laughs> Like Mitch Buchanan from Baywatch. I'll be there. I'll be there. I jumped in, saved my dog, swam to the shallow end with my clothes on and everything. I went in there, clothes on and everything, 7 o'clock in the morning, just (laughs) and saved my dog because I love him. Now that's a Valentine's Day I can be excited about. Because I can. That's that's an original idea. You know, celebrate your dogs. <laughs> celebrate your dog, you know. Celebrate him. Celebrate who he is. Because that's, that's what true Valentine's Day is. Saving your dog. <laughs> if you can't save your dog, why? And my, you know what's the greatest thing about it? My daughters, they watched it. They saw me rescue a rescue dog. We rescued him twice. I just realized that. Holy crap. This dog has been rescued. Actually, he's been rescued more than once. When you're half blind with bad hips and you you run around and sort <laughs> He's a beautiful dog, though. I love him. All right, Emma Mikers. You know what? Um, if you have a wonderful dog, do me a favor. Do me a big favor. I need you to email me at mmipodcast19 at gmail.com. Tell me what your favorite dog is, and you win a free Mike B shirt. It's that simple. You win a free Mike B shirt. <clears throat> I don't mean to uh, cut this. You know, I'm going to cut this episode a little bit short tonight, today, this afternoon, whenever you listen to it. Because in this episode, I don't want to drag it because I just got back from being sick, and I am just getting in the rotation of everything. But next week, check this out. Next week, I'm going up to Coos Bay, Oregon. I'm going up to Meth. Why do I sound Southern going up to the North? I just caught myself. I'm going to Coos Bay. I'm going to Medford. I'm going to make them laugh. I'm going to be headlining up there all next week. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait. So if you're up there, come see me. It's going to be a lot of fun. You know how I get down. It's going to be a lot of fun, ladies and gentlemen. So please come on up. Thank you so much for listening to this quick episode. I know it's quick. I know it's fast. But you know, I, sometimes I don't have to do 30. Sometimes I don't have to do 45. Sometimes just a little quick 20 minutes, 25 minutes, whatever it is. I, you know, it doesn't. I don't even know why I'm rambling. Okay. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm just excited to go on this trip. And I can't wait because I love the people up there in Oregon. And if you're up there, if you're listening to people in Oregon, please come out. Okay. Next week, it's going to be fun. Yeah, I can't wait. Don't forget, also, this episode is brought to you by Waza Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Mention the Me, Myself, and I podcast. You get half off the first month of training. That's right. The first month of training, you can learn how to choke someone out. I don't know who you are. Back off. Come on, silk underwear. What about silk? You don't like, you want to choke me out with this silk underwear? Huh? What about silk underwear? Please, Jean Claude, not right now. Jean Claude, go. Anyways, <clears throat> I don't know who you are. Mike Bencourt, now please go. Thank you. <sighs> Actually, you know what, guys, come back here. Come back here. You guys want to be part of the show? I do. I do. All right. Are you ready? We're at, since we're at the end of the show, what do you want to? I, 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 I don't know what you want me to do. Okay, put your hands up. No. Jean-Claude, 
No. You guys don't want to do the, the, the ending? Huh? Little. Come on, guys. Oh, now you're going to be quiet. Fine. I'll do it myself. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for listening to me, Mike Stuff, and I. I really appreciate it. And by the way, get ready. Ready? Here we go. Salsa! 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 It's me, Mike Stuff, and I.